Hi there, everyone. I thought today I would do a short video on the layout of the Embraer 145. The 145 is such a popular aircraft at the moment. It's a really great aircraft for that first jet. There's a lot of students transitioning from sort of lighter aircraft or 1900s dash eights at the moment to jet aircraft. And a lot of the time, the transition is on to a 145. So I thought I'll take the time and show you what the layout of this aircraft actually looks like. We've been training on it here at Samira for a long time. We enjoy training on it. And um, we've developed quite a nice program that uh, you can come see here at uh, Samira. Hopefully you come and train with us. But let's get to it at the moment. And let's have a look at the uh, Embraer. 145 flight deck. So that's a picture of our actual simulator here. As you can see, it's a, it's a nice place to be. It's a rather nice uh, office. But uh, transitioning to a slightly different look, let's, uh, let me take you around the flight deck. So I'll start here in the uh, bottom left and then work my way around. You've got your steering down here. It's a push to operate steering, quite a sensitive steering wheel on this aircraft. Your oxygen panel, of course your clock, your audio controls over here, pretty standard on this aircraft. The reversionary panel down here, your PFD, or primary flight display, your MFD, the ARCAS, your AH, standby ASI, standby altimeter, you got your engine indications up here, your N2 display, fuel flow, and your quantity. Your gear lever over here with your down lock release button. Your backup tuning control. Your yaw trim position, your pitch trim position, and um, your aileron or roll indicator. Your RMUs, your dual FMSs, this is the Honeywell, and down here you've got the Universals, your pressurization system, your yaw trim. The yaw trim on this aircraft is spring loaded to neutral with a three second uh, cutout limit. So if you hold that for five seconds, it will only trim for the uh, three second point. Your roll trim and your backup pitch trim. Mirror image on the right hand side, your MFD, PFD, audio, reversionary panel, and your oxygen panel. Moving up, your display lighting, your radar panel, your DCP, your display control panel. You've got your radar over here, your range buttons, your gain control modes as well, and your tilt on this side. The DCP panel has got your bearing selectors on both sides. Your RC600, the test is done here by pushing in this button. You can also set your uh, radar altimeter from, from there and your uh, source selector buttons, of course, over here. Flight guidance system, very much the heart of this aircraft. You've got your course selector knob on both sides for number one and number two. Pressing that knob sinks the selected course to the VR bearing, of course. Your heading selector up here and the heading selector knob. Pressing that knob syncs the heading selection to your current heading. This is the autopilot couple switch that allows the captain or the first officer's flight director commands to control the autopilots. If it's pointing left as it is here, then the captain is uh, controlling the autopilot command. Your vertical speed and, S and um, IAS selector pressing that knob toggles between speed modes indicated airspeed and mach when you're in speed mode so you can change between ias and mach number 
your altitude select knob. And of course, I mentioned to you earlier that uh, very much the heart of this aircraft, because if you have a good understanding of how this flight, uh, flight guidance system works, it makes life during your sim training a lot easier. Pretty standard in the way it operates is there's no real trick to it. However, the philosophy around it, uh, speed modes, as an example, a lot of uh, people transitioning onto this aircraft haven't used a speed mode before. So we try and use it as much as we can during training. It works really nice on this aircraft. So in the climb and in the descent, we'll teach you how to use uh, speed mode. Again, mirror image on the right hand side, your DCP, radar, and display lighting for the first officer. The overhead panel, for a training perspective, we like to split it up into five further panels, your electrical panel. This is your passenger address system down the bottom here, your fuel panel, power point panel, your flight control panel, air conditioning and pneumatic panel. This is the famous L open that you'll see quite a lot in the SOP. And as we mentioned, the five separate panels here actually work quite nicely from a training perspective because we can say go to uh, panel three of the overhead panel and you know exactly where to look. So it makes life quite a lot easier during training if we do it that way. As you can see, quite a nice layout to this aircraft. The uh, ergonomics of the uh, Embraer 145, really good, quite intuitive. And particularly when it comes to an operational point of view, we really like the way that the uh, flight guidance system and the FMA are integrated so nicely into the SOPs. It's a very intuitive way of operating. If you want to know more about the 145, please don't hesitate to give me a shout and come and see us here at Simero in Johannesburg.